Hi guys, how are you all doing everyone? How are you all doing everyone? Happy Sunday, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching me from. Welcome back to today's live stream. Thank you everyone that are, that are jumping in. I appreciate you all. And today we are going to treat a topic, somebody requested this topic actually from my previous live stream. Somebody requested that I should like tell her the kind of food that she can eat. She's diabetic, the kind of food she can eat and the ones that she, she should not eat so that she will know what and what to eat and what not to eat. So that is what we are discussing today. If you know any, why I am, why I am saying all these things, listing out the food if you know anyone that you know that is also good that i did not mention please don't forget to leave it on the comment section because we are here to help each other and i have a disclaimer here before i start saying the food i have a disclaimer i am not a doctor so all the information i'm giving here is just for information purposes for information purposes only please Please, 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 if you have problem, please visit your doctor. If you're diabetic, visit your doctor so the doctor will know exactly the, the level of your issue. So don't forget to visit the doctor whenever you have to. For what I'm saying today is just for information purposes only. Thank you so much for jumping in. Shema Adams, thank you so much for, for jumping in from Tobago. I appreciate it all that have jumped in already. Thank you all. So today, like I said, we're going to be talking about the food that are good for diabetic patients, for diabetes, and some of the things that is not also good because you know, when you have good things, there will be something that is also good, is not good for that kind of sickness. So I wouldn't want this video to be a long one. Maybe we we'll have to jump in. I'm trying to see if some some other people will jump in before we start with pick of the day. I hope you all are doing good. As for me, I thank God I'm good. God is faithful. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming in. Say something to me if you can hear me. Thank you, thank you, everyone that jumped in. So, best food and worst food to eat if you're diabetic. There are a lot of food that we have now that are very tempting to eat, but sometimes that those kind of food might not be good for you based on what you're suffering from. Hi, good from Jane Ad. <laughs> the name of the plank, the plant at the back of me. I bought it from, from Akia. Thank you so much. So let's jump into the topic of today. I have my jotter here where I jot down some things. And I also have my infused water here. So the video of this is coming up probably tomorrow on how you can do this in different flavors. You can be drinking that will help to, you know, to cleanse you and detox you from all those things that are not good in our body. So when you are diagnosed with diabetic, when you are di diagnosed with diabetes, there are a lot of things that you have to change in your diet. If you do that, it's going to help you to achieve a better result. It's going to help your system to be able to, you know, to give you what is right. Whenever you are diagnosed, please listen to your doctors. Choose the right food to eat and try to eliminate some food that are not good for you. 
So we are going to start first of all with those good food, nutritious food, wonderful food that you can be eating when you are diagnosed with diabetes. When, when you are diagnosed, I'm trying to check how many people here. When you are diagnosed with diabetes, there are a lot of things that you have to do. And one of those things is your food, your diet. So, like I said, like I said, starting with best food to eat, number one best food that is very good for diabetic patients is blueberries. Blueberries, all the berries are good, but blueberries are so good for diabetes because they are packed with dietary fiber that will help to slow down the spike of sugar in your body. So vitamin C also in blueberries made it also good food for diabetes. And it's, it also has uh, flavonoids. Flavonoids are those phytonutrients Phytonutrients that helps to boost our immune system and also help to fight infections. So blueberry is number one of food that you can be eating if you're if you're diabetic. Blueberries are good and that's they're, they're delicious. Everyone can eat that food. Everyone can eat that food. It's one of the food, it's one of the berries that are very, very uh, healthy for everyone to eat. And it's, it also helps to bring down your cholesterol level. And my next food to eat if you're diabetic is lentils, beans, you know, legumes in general. Legumes are good. Beans are good for diabetic patients. Beans, you have kidney beans, black beans, all those food are good because they have fiber. And what fiber does to uh, blood sugar is to lower the, the digestion of the food because it's packed with lots of fiber. But if you eat food that digests so fast and they are packed with sugar, like carbs, you eat high carbs food, it digests so fast and it goes straight to your bloodstream and spike up the, the level of the sugar. So digest so fast to the body it's an alternative is a great alternative because it's, it's high in fiber and protein protein is something that a diabetic patient should also consider but the protein that you should be eating with that protein that is not all of products that that do not have fats in them like beans beans do not have fat they are they have fiber and protein so that is why it's a very good food for people with diabetes. Because this, because beans is also packed with vitamins, minerals like folate, iron, magnesium, potassium. This is a great food for diabetes. Like I said, it is a great food for diabetic patients because the starchy food affects the blood sugar. The carbs affect the blood sugar, but beans do not have carbs. They have fiber and protein. So they work so well for diabetes. Thank you so much, everyone that joined in. Thank you, everyone that joined, that joined us today. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for jumping. And the next food that is also good for diabetes is fish. Fish is better than meat. If you're diabetes, if you're a diabetic patient, food is better than, than um, fish is better than meat. Because fish is really healthy to have. It is high in omega-3 fatty acids. That is the unsaturated, it has that unsaturated fat, which is good to take care of your, to lower your uh, triglycerides. It also re reduces inflammation, lower blood sugar, lower blood pressure, and also reduce the risk of blood clots. So this fish we are talking about, we have different kinds of fish that you can be eating to be able to get all this nutrient from. We have salmon, we have tuna, herring, sardine, mackerel, 
all those fishes, all those fishes are good for people. It is good day, good day, Petronella. Thank you so much for jumping. And the next food that is also good for diabetes is apple. I used to say in most of my videos, one apple a day takes you far away, far away from the doctor. Because fiber, because fiber that is in apple help to bring down the sugar. Apple has lots of fiber. It's, it helps to bring down the sugar content in apple people will say apple is apple not a food apple is a food but it's packed with fiber there are many there are different kinds of food uh, fruit which i will mention when i will be talking about the food that you should not eat those ones do not have the level of fiber that apple has that is why apple is an exception when you're talking about sugar and other kind of fruits so apple is good. It also helps. It, it, it helps to slow digestion because of the fiber it has. It regulates blood glucose level. That is what it means. It, it slows down the digestion. And when this digestion is being slowed, the blood sugar will not spike up like it's supposed to spike if you eat other kind of fruit that do not have the quantity of fiber that apple has. The next food here that you should be eating if you're diabetic is nuts. Nuts are a great snack. You can use it as a snack. A handful of nuts in a day goes a long way. It's, it's protein. It's protein. It helps, the, it helps to bring down the, the sugar level in your body, in your blood. The next food, this is a food. The next food that is also good for um, to bring down the sugar level is grapefruit. And when you talk of the grapefruit, the red grapefruit is better than the green one. When you open it, the grapefruit that you open, the inside is red. It's very, very good to bring down the sugar level because it's packed with antioxidants, you know, because of that red variety, that redness in it. And if you are no subscriber, you I must have said it in some of my videos that if you really want to achieve loss of vitamins and minerals, go for fruit of colors, fruit that have especially those bright colors, red, orange, they are packed with lots of nutrients, which, which our body needs. The grapefruit also helps in lowering the cholesterol and triglycerides. So this kind of food is also good for bringing, bringing down the blood level, the sugar level in the blood. And the next, the next food here is a vegetable and it is broccoli. Broccoli is a very good vegetable also that will help to control the sugar level. Broccoli is packed with vitamin C, fiber, which helps also to heal wound. You know, when somebody is diabetic, they, their wounds don't heal easily, unlike somebody that, uh, that is not diabetic. So when you eat broccoli, it gives you that nutrient. It's good in healing wound. Broccoli is also full of beta carotene, which is antioxidant to make vitamin A. Broccoli is good for uh, diabetic for a diabetic patient it's also good for our eyes any food that is that has vitamin a vitamin c and vitamin e is good for our eyes i have said that in many of my eye videos you have you have food that are packed with vitamin a c and e eat them if you have eye problems it's also broccoli is also good for our teeth our bone our skin this this particular vegetable aside helping you to control and manage your your sugar level is also good for our skin teeth eyes bone those things are that things that we really need to eat our food for any food that you're eating you benefit from that food to take care of so many things in our body you know that that, that food is a super food so broccoli is one of the super food because it does a lot of things in our body. 
and our next and our next uh, food here is a is sort of a meat replacement if you're a vegan most vegan eat this to use it and replace as meat and that is tofu i know some not know what tofu is but if you're a vegan you know what is tofu tofu is sort of a meat substitute it's it's from soy it's from soy it's like meat they use it as meat and that is also good to control um sugar level it's packed with lots of vitamins and minerals like folate zinc potassium iron all those things i think you get from from tofu but i want to note out one thing here if you have fibroids if you're suffering from fibroids i will tell you to avoid eating tofu or eat anything made of soy soy milk soybean whatever that is made of soy is not good for you if you have fibroids so i just want to note that here because i come across tofu and it's made of soy. The next food that is also good for diabetic patient is, is a yogurt. Yogurt is a low carbohydrate and desert. People use, people eat yogurt. But one thing I will also note here, if you want to eat yogurt and you're diabetic, eat plain yogurt. Get plain yogurt. Just add your own fruit. Add, your, add some nuts, different kinds of nuts inside it that's how i eat my yogurt meanwhile i'm not diabetic anyway but i eat yogurt plain i buy plain yogurt then i add the fruit i want in it i add some nuts almond nuts uh, cashew nuts all those nuts walnuts you add them inside your yogurt and you enjoy it more by so doing, you know what you put inside because when you buy a yogurt that is already added some things are already added inside it. You don't know what is inside it. And you don't know the quantity of sugar they have already added it into it to make it taste better. So get plain yogurt. Add your own food. Mix, mix it with uh, uh, some nuts and you're going to enjoy it much more. Try it and you'll see. In case if you have not tried it, in case you always buy those uh, maybe fruit yogurt, yogurt that is already missed or prepared for you in the market and you just grab them and eat you are just eating sugar some things that you do not know that are inside the yogurt and if you're that is if you're going for yogurt go for greek yogurt that greek yogurt is the one i'm talking about that is plain yogurt greek yogurt is the best if you really want to take care of your of your diabetes and the next food that is also good is carrot. I might not be able to say all the food. There are a lot of things that you can eat to help yourself. As long as you make your food by yourself, that is the most important thing. Making your food by yourself will do, will do a lot for you. And, you know, reduce the visit of the restaurants, fast food, all those things are not good for you. If you're trying to get healthier, if you're trying to control some things in your system, you really need to make your food at home. And they, like I said, the next food here is carrot. Carrots are full of beta carotene that is that could help prevent heart disease and can some and some cancer. So if you if carrot can do that, it helps you also to bring down your sugar level. This is a vegetable that is good for us. If if uh, if you are diabetic. My my say here is eat more of vegetables than eat more of fruits. Yes, eat more of vegetables because they are low in sugar, more in fiber, because fiber helps to bring down the sugar level. The next food also is spinach, spinach, kale, you know, those greens, they are good to bring down the sugar level. They are super food that will help you with lots of vitamins like, like uh, vitamin B2, B6, folate, magnesium, copper, potassium, zinc. All these things are good for you if you're diabetic because you will get your nutrients 
from those kind of vegetables. You eat kale, cabbage, collard greens, spinach, all those things are good for a diabetic patient because they are packed with lots of fiber and beta carotene that will help to fight cancer, cataracts. If you're having eye problem, it also helps to bring down the blood pressure. All this food I'm, I'm, I'm saying here are also good for blood pressure if you if you really want to reduce um, your number, if you really want to control what you're eating and get more healthy. And the next food here is oatmeal. Oatmeal is very, very good for diabetic patients because they are Lot, there, are, there are a lot of fiber in them that will help to bring down the sugar level. Like I used to say, fiber is, <laughs> does a lot of things. We, do, we want to eat food that would digest so fast and go straight to our bloodstream and like hike our sugar. That is not good. You might not have it, you might not, you might not be diagnosed today that you are diabetic, but if you can control what you eat, you are doing a lot good for yourself. You are doing a lot good to your body because nobody wants to be sick, nobody wants to be visiting the toilet, the sorry, the hospital all the time. So we need to take care of our body. And if you're going for oatmeal go for the, um, what do they call it? Old-fashioned oatmeal, old-fashioned oats, because those one, that, those one takes time to cook and it takes time to digest. So you wouldn't want to eat the one that would digest so fast. Your key here is to eat food that's up, that is packed with fiber, soluble fiber because it helps to lower cholesterol, improve blood pressure, and stabilize your glucose level. That is all we are trying to achieve, to stabilize the glucose level. And I know some people that are diabetic also suffer from hypertension. So all this food will work well to, for you to achieve a very good result. And if, you, if here, here, I will also mention avocado because avocado is a is healthy fat that you would need. We don't need all those unhealthy oils that we spike up your, 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 you start having abdominal, um, abnormal heartbeat. All those, when you eat much of, much of uh, fatty food, they are not also good for you if you're diabetic. Avocado is good. Another food here is cranberries. Many people might not know about cranberries. They are very, very good to bring down the sugar level. We have mentioned blueberry. Cranberry is, is another berry that is very, very good to control the blood sugar. The next food here, the next food also here that is good is flaxseed. Flaxseed has, has omega-3 fatty acid like fish like fish, so flax seeds are good for uh, we have here garlic, quinoa, red onions, red pepper, there are a lot of food. Those vegetables that you know, when you eat them, your conscience will be blaming you of eating bad food. I don't know if people will feel the same way. Sometimes there is something I will eat, my conscience will say, will be telling me, why did you eat this? This is not good for you. So I know, I know most, more, once in a while we might just eat what we are hungry of. But most of the time, please, we need to eat healthy food because our body really needs us to give it the right food. So that, that, uh, that comes to the end of the good food that we have to be eating. Now I'm just going to go briefly to tell us some things that we don't need to eat that will help us if we can avoid eating those food because they are not good for us. Number one of the food that you should avoid if you're diabetic is fruit juice, fruit smoothies, making your smoothies and fruit, making your smoothies and juices with only fruit. 
with only fruit is not good if you're diabetic. If you're making juices, juices are good, uh, uh, smoothies are good for you to drink. I am not saying that you should not drink smoothies, you should not drink juices, but don't drink fruit juice only. Don't drink fruit smoothies only. Mix them with vegetables. For example, apple is a fruit. If you want to make smoothies, let your fruit be apple. Add grapefruit. All those fruit that I have mentioned that are good, blueberries, uh, cranberries, strawberry, raspberry, all those berries are good to mix in your smoothies. And then you add your other vegetables like spinach, kale, um, uh, cabbage, all those things. Uh, you mix them together and you have made a very nourishing smoothie for yourself if you're diabetic. Don't drink fruit juice alone. Don't drink fruit smoothies alone. Try to mix them because you wouldn't want to spike up your, your blood, your sugar level just by drinking uh, fruit smoothies and juices. The next food that, that is also niche, not good is white bread white bread white rice flour white flour anything that is made of white flour and short anything that is made of white flour is not good for you because it's just sugar your body do not need it your body needs healthy food your body needs if you're eating going for bread go for whole grain bread brown bread those things those bread that are not made from white flour that is a, the a better alternative for you because that is not good white bread has this glycemic it has a very high glycemic index which you do not need if you are suffering from diabetes and the next kind of food that you should afford, avoid here is french fries I know many people might <laughs> many people might not be able to delete or remove this food from their diet because it tastes so good. But if you're suffering from that, your body do not need it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Demi Brown. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Vanessa Grant. Thank you so much for joining us today. So French fries is not good if you're diabetic. In short, anything that is fried, if you don't eat fried food, especially fried food that are, that you use all those oils that are not good for you, you don't need it. It's gonna spike up your your blood sugar, and you're not going to feel very well. When you combine uh, uh, fries itself is high in sugar and you use fat, oil and fry. The combination of these two will never be good for somebody that is diabetic. It rises blood sugar quickly and it keeps it high for a longer time. It keeps this blood sugar high for a longer time because the combination of the fat, the oil, and the sugar in potatoes is not is not actually good. I'm not saying you should not eat potatoes, but eat potatoes in in on a moderate quantity and not fried. You can cook it when you have cooked it. You have already removed some fat, some sugar out of that potato. As long as you have cooked it, you have boiled it. So eating fr French fries. Is not good for somebody that is suffering from diabetes. And the next food to avoid is soda. I know many of us, we drink soda so much. We enjoy drinking soda. But do you know that in one soda, you have about 10, 10 teaspoons of sugar in it? Just 10 teaspoons of sugar, you're drinking it, just opening or drinking it, drinking it. That is not how it's not going to spike up your blood sugar. So soda is... One food that you don't need if you are suffering from diabetes. We don't have to always depend on our fast food. That's the next food. Also, limit fast food. 
that fast food you don't know what's inside it you don't know how it is made you don't know the quantity of sugar you don't know what's added inside it that makes it to test the way you want it to test that made it taste the way they want it to taste so that they can make good cells that is not what you need if you are diabetic no, 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 no. Fast food. You can eat that once in a while just to have fun, but don't make it a regular food for you if you're diabetic. Make your food yourself. Cook your food yourself so that you will know exactly what is inside it. Even if you're eating some things that are not on the list of the things you should eat, at least cook them. Make them in your house. Eat them in a small quantity. I'm not saying that you should dwell on it. You don't have to dwell on those food that is not good for you if you really want to manage your diabetes and uh, get good results. Another thing you should also avoid is artificial sweetness. Reduce the quantity that we add. Reduce the quantity you add because those artificial sweeteners spike up blood so, so well, so fast. The next one is energy drink. I'm just going to go through it by calling the names energy drink bottle tea today we go to market we say i'm, I'm drinking a iced tea i'm drinking tea i'm drinking tea bottle tea you don't know exactly what is inside you don't know the quantity of sugar you don't know you don't know what the what is added those things are not good for you if you're diabetic potato chips flavored yogurt that's what i was saying flavored yogurt if you're always Take flavored yogurt instead of plain yogurt. You are increasing the sugar in your blood. You avoid donuts, like cereal bars, muffins, pancakes. And another thing I want to say here about pancakes. I make pancakes in my house, but I use oat flour. You just get your old-fashioned oat blend them to become flour and you use them in place of white flour you use them in place of normal flour that is how i make my oat i use oat that is how i make my pancakes i use oat to make my pancake oat flour so that is another tip i want to point out there you can also you can continue to enjoy your cake your pancake but make them with oat flour Avoid candy, fruit, snacks, candy. Everybody likes eating candy, especially those ones they will tell you it's fruit candy. <laughs> yeah, they put the flavor of different kinds of fruit in them. But are you sure that is from fruit? Nobody knows. So make sure you eat what you know what is inside. Uh, avoid big skis, mac and cheese. I know Americans like so much that mac and cheese. That is also not good for diabetes. Avoid dried fruit. You know, those dried uh, apricot, dried mango, dried banana, dried, uh, dried uh, uh, raisins, all those things have lots of sugar in them. Because when they're drying those things, they added sugar to sweeten it. So dried fruits, they are not good for diabetic patients. Avoid whole milk. Whole milk is packed with lots of fat. Dairy milk, they are not also good. Instead, go for, if you must drink dairy milk, you have to go for low-fat milk or no-fat milk. Fat-free milk, that's what I mean. Or you go for nut milk. Nut milk like almond, uh, almond nut milk, cashew nut milk, oat, oat milk, you know, all those, all those uh, milk are good for you if you're diabetic. The next thing to also avoid here is grapes. This is one of the fruit that is not good for diabetic patients. I'm sorry to say that it tastes so delicious, it's good. But it's not good for diabetic patients because it has lots of sugar. Even if you have to eat it, please manage the quantity you must eat. Listen to your doctor. Ask your doctor, this, this, what is the exact quantity I have to eat? Because something I cannot do without. 
then listen to what your doctor or your dietitian is telling you because those are the things that will help you to be able to achieve good results. Also, on, under the fruit, I will mention mango, papaya, banana, melon, pineapple. All those fruits might not be good for you if you're diabetic. Those fruits has a lot of sugar in them. And you might not be happy that you don't you don't have to eat them. But, like I said, talk to your doctor before you make a final decision on all these things. Because these are the things I, I think and I researched and I found out that they are not good for you if you're diabetic. So, those are the things that I have to list here for the food that are good and the things that are not good for those that are suffering from diabetes. So if you have any of these, if you have any of this uh, food that I did not mention, if you have any food I didn't mention on this list, please don't forget to drop them on the comment section because somebody really want to read from you. Somebody really want to know the things that he or she should eat and not to eat. If you have somebody that have been able to manage his or her diabetes for a long time and the person is living healthy and stronger and is looking good and everything is working well, please don't forget to encourage someone on the comment section because we are here to help each other. Your comment can revive a soul. Your comment can help someone somewhere. You never can tell. So that is what I have come to share with you today. If you have any, any topic or anything you want to request for me to do or discuss about, please leave them on the comment section. Then we will come here and chat about it and discuss about it. And if you have any question based on what we discussed here today, if you want something that you, if there's something you want to be cleared, clarified about, drop them on the comment section. I know I have good followers and good subscribers, good family, good community that will also help in answering your questions. So that is all I have come to share with you today. Thank you so much that everyone that have joined today, I might be coming up on a live video anytime this week. I wouldn't know exactly the day, but I will notify you if I will be coming up for a live video. So thank you so much once again. And I appreciate each and every one of you that have joined today, that dropped a comment, that dropped a like. I thank you so much for everything that you have contributed on today's live stream. I say may God continue to bless you abundantly. Whatever that you have wished, whatever that you have prayed to achieve this week that we just entered, may the Almighty God continue to provide them for you. Bless you, bless your family, and may all your hard desires, may all your hard work bring fruit in its season. Thank you so much once again, and bye-bye for now.